Bill's still doing here. Man versus nature. The internet versus good taste. Batman versus Superman. Cats versus dogs. Yes, it's time again for some Loot Crate, and this month's subscription, it's all about interpersonal conflict, and I'm assuming resolving that. Uh, promising items from Batman vs. Superman, or V Superman, if you're Zack Snyder. Uh, there's Civil War in here, I believe. A Star Trek item, which I'm a little bit concerned about. Alien vs. Predator, which... Okay. So, yeah. Again, it's here, so let's cut in. All right. Oh, let's cut in. You know, Batman makes battery. It's so simple. Okay, here we go. Fascinating. I guess I see the Star Trek thing already. Diving right into it. Yes, of course. That is Spock versus evil Spock. This is awesome. Please, 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 please. Yes, it is my size. So, well, that's very good. Obviously, the shirts, they promise a shirt every, uh, every time around now. And that is a good one. Very happy with it. Again, Leonard Nimoy, God rest his soul, just recently had a birthday, but man, I am very happy. Being on a TOS Trek guy myself, that's good. Up next, well, here's the Marvel item, so it is Civil War. Oh, except it is, it's a Deadpool. Oh, hello. Uh, Daredevil Toque, which, okay, and Punisher, it's reversible. I also, man, that's a nice toque, and I keep saying toque, which is a Canadian thing. So if you are our friends from, say, the United Kingdom or, or the United States or any other United place, it's a it's a beanie, I believe you call them. But that's that's another high quality. That's that is really nice. What next? Come on, do it. Well, do it. Alien versus Predator. I got a couple of messages actually from the last crate we went through where I kind of made a little bit of fun of Alien vs. Predator. I kind of want to take that back because while the movies for Alien vs. Predator were insanely lame. <laughs> terrible. Like we, like, wow. I still like Alien, I still like Predator, and a Titan vinyl fig. These are always nice. You can see the full range of alien figs on there. I guess, does that mean I got an alien or a predator? Let's uh, tear into it and find out. I'm gonna immediately regret throwing away the batarang. That's great. That's just fucking great, man. Just bear with me for a second. Now what the f are we supposed to do? I got a predator. Huh. Actually, to be completely honest, not to be whiny, but I kind of would have preferred the Alien. I just like that franchise more, but as always, Titan figures. I got to pile these on the shelf behind me, and this one's going right up there with it. Might try to slide it into my wife's Doctor Who stuff, just because, you know, I think a Predator Doctor Who crossover. What? Come on, guys. BBC? Think about it for a second. That would be... No? Okay. What else is in here? Uh, oh, well, before we go any farther, look! The pin. I do enjoy that they're putting a little bit more effort into the pins. I just... I feed them to Buddha's Beefcake, and we move on with our lives. There's the Batman v Superman thing. It is a Mighty Wallet, which, honestly, Mighty Wallets are fantastic. I got one already. I swear by them. They're tear-proof. I'm insanely strong. And I can't even tear through it. Not for lack of trying. Like, do you dare to tear? You can go on YouTube and try. There is their YouTube address. You can check that out after you check out this YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha! And a uh, a real life five dollar bill. I am just insanely huge. Uh, isn't that right, Rusty? <laughs> yeah. hmm. For a cutaway gag that only Canadians will get. The wallet's really good. The movie, uh, you know what? I enjoyed it, but people yell at you on the internet when you say you enjoyed it, so I'll leave that up to you. And uh, when my current Mighty Wallet wears out, I will adopt this one. So 20, 30 years from now, we're all good. Uh, oh, that's right, there's a Harley Quinn item in this one. It is 
Uh, you know, I really appreciate variant covers. I'll get that into focus here a little bit more. The only thing is, though, like, I buy these comics already, so the variant covers really just have a tendency to sort of sit in a stack. So, hmm. A uh, quick thing. Um, this is not a reprint of Harley Quinn number one. This is an entirely new issue, or at least one new story. Like, here, I'll, I'll prove it. I will grab my copy of the regular Harley Quinn book. Honestly, one of the better books out there right now. As you can see, markably different. See? Yay! Yay! That right there, worth the price of admission. If you don't get Loot Crate, sorry, check eBay. Well worth it again. Mad Love, one of the greatest comic book stories of the modern era. Uh, what else is in here? Okay, hang on. This sometimes, this is some sort of a game thing. Is there a code? No, there's no code. It's called Word Gush. So if playing games on your phone is your kind of a thing, you might want to check that out. There, quick words, read. Moving on. The magazine, as usual. This one seems a little bit thicker this time around. Uh, yeah, lots of extra stuff. Again, I actually do thumb through this. And, uh, okay, so epic fights. Ooh, Spot the Spock. It's like, where's Waldo? But looking for evil Spock in a sea of Spocks. Sea of Spock. It'd be a great name for a band, but we're moving on here. Obviously, the Mega Crate. Some lucky looter out there got himself a Daredevil hoodie, which, again, shows off that whole Canadian thing all over again. Uh, CanCon episode. What's in Harley Quinn's purse? Gum, moldy bread, a grenade, the kind of stuff you expect. All in all, uh, again, another really good, high-quality crate. Love the wallet. Big fan, again, of the Predator. Uh, he can get to the chopper. I'm sorry for saying that. The Toque! I'm a bit of a Punisher fan, so it's nice to have the option. There's, again, Daredevil, Punisher. When I wear it, I'm going to be sporting my Frank Castle pride. Uh, the comic book, I like this. Uh, out of all the exclusive comic books they've done so far, this has got to be the best one because, again, it's a whole new comic book. And comic books are fun, kids. You should really read them. They're where your movies come from. <laughs> Sin was believing in George Clooney. Can't say enough about the shirt. Again, love Spock, love evil Spock, love them both. Now I can wear them both. Very nice. Thank you so much. Again, if you want to subscribe to uh, Loot Crate, I'll put like a linky thing in here or on Nerd Bastards or Radio Bastards. Wherever you're seeing this, click around on things. One of them will take you to a subscription thing. Uh, Loot Crate, once a month. Speaking of which, next month, they have already announced the theme. It is going to be Quest. Featuring items from Harry Potter, uh, Vikings, Uncharted 4. So some gamer gear in this one. Uh, Labyrinth. Big hopes that it's David Bowie's cod piece. I think that uh, it reminds me of the bait. Batman v Superman. Quick little plug here again, again on the podcast, RadioBastard.com. Very shortly, the Super Friends shall unite. It'll be Batcast versus Zodcast. We're going to do the whole... Figuring out exactly how BVS was. You loved it, you hated it. You just want to talk about it and scream at other people like you do on the internet. It's a movie. But good points, bad points. Podcast is going to go through talking about that. And yeah, more Loot Crate, I guess, coming in the very near future. So there.